Okay, this video is called Can You Do a Single Overhand? Ugh. Okay, this video is called Can You Do a Single Overhead Subaru Engine Head Gasket While the Engine is Still in the Car? And the answer is yes. I've already done the other side. I'm just about to pull this side off, no problem, lots of, wouldn't call it lots of room, but there's enough room. You have to pull the dipstick, all the stuff off the top, there's two bolts holding the tranny cooler lines on the bottom, three, three nuts for the exhaust, and what I did was jacked up on the oil pan, and then when the engine mount had enough room between the frame, or the subframe and the engine mount, I stuck a block underneath it, not under the stud, that might bend it, I... I doubt it, but it's just under the flat part of the engine mount, and I let it rest on there, and uh, yeah, so the engine tilts off to the side I need it to. I heard that the dual cams is a lot harder to do it this way, better to pull the engine, but you know, this was pretty damn easy. Yeah, so can you do head gaskets in the car? Definitely. Single overhead cam, no problem. Just in case you're wondering, the socket I use, um, well, it's a 14 millimeter 12 point socket, and even with this adapter on it, I'm able to get my 3 8 ratchet in there, like that. Plenty of room for the torque wrench. I can even get this breaker bar in there. Once you got it on the table, you can set your valve lash and all that good stuff. But yeah, um, I've done a few of these before and I've always pulled the motor out. I'm actually quite surprised that I've talked to so many mechanics and nobody suggested leaving it in the car. Oh well, you learn something new every day. I'm going to show you how much space we have on the other side when I have the 2x4 under the driver's side. Well, that's uh, definitely not enough space to do the head gaskets. Pretty sure. I mean, that's like an inch closer than when it's not jacked up. I don't know if you can see that angle. Um, well, the radiator's at an angle too, so it's kind of hard to tell. I'll try to line that up with the bottom of the screen. Um, but the driver's side is about an inch, inch and a half higher than the passengers. There you go. I hope I saved you some time. If you don't have a cherry picker. One last thing. Uh, the three bottom bolts do not come out while the head is in the engine bay so when you're installing the head make sure you put the bolts in the head in the bottom the bottom three anyways um, you can use an elastic put them around the bolts so that they don't slide around while you're messing around with the head but the top ones can go in whenever um, all right now I'm about to take it out and I left the top middle bolt there and I can get my impact on it so I can put my hand underneath the head so it doesn't fall and then just scoop her out. And also, um, good habit to put the bolts back right where they were. Now if you lose track, I wouldn't worry too much, but make sure that the bolts that have the red head go on the outside. Uh, they have a smaller washer and if you put the bigger washer ones on the outside, it will rub up against the side of the head head inside and you'll really mess something up. I did see a couple videos that were uh, telling you how to do this but they would always take the AC unit and put it up here with a bunch of bungee cords and there's plenty of room here. You can see the 2x4 down there. I guess some guys just over complicate things. Well I got the head out. Here she is. Very dirty. I'm gonna spend a good hour trying to get all this crap out of it and I'm gonna do a oil flush. One of those uh, liquid additive oil flushes then you do an oil change after. Hopefully that'll do something but gross.